All right, so we are on live. So let's wait for a few minutes until all of you would get in and we'll see how it goes. All right, so hello everyone and we'll just started this live. So welcome everyone. Um, the reason, before you will ask, the reason that I'm with a microphone and with a headphone is because I'm filming it to my YouTube channel as well. So all of you will be able to see it. So for those of you that missed this live, I'm going to post the, we'll call it the, the top, the, the tops and the highlights that we've been on this live. Um, so yeah, so feel free to join in. It will take us a few moments, I believe, until a lot of you will join in. And feel free to ask me any question that you have. I'm right here. Um, as you all know, I'm in the beginning of my journey myself, so I'll do my best to help you. And worst case, if I won't know the answer, we have uh, Mr. Google in here, so I'll search in Google everything you need and we'll start talking. But yeah, so I'm learning how to make the tutorials um, that it will be more accessible to you because I received a lot of good reviews and bad reviews from you on the DMs and I really appreciate it that you all DM me on Instagram and answer me about like told me what do you think I should improve on my um, on my YouTube um, and actually you told me that I talk too that you feel like I talk too much in details uh, when I when I tell you about my mindset and uh, what thinking process I do so I thought about the best way that I will be able to create you content is actually hi there welcome so I thought about it and I think the best way that I will be able to create the best content for you is that I will make uh, separate videos to the way I think and the way that I, I start creating those stuff so as I said like I have a mic that actually is uh, mainly for the for the for the camera and stuff and I have the headphone that I will hear music because when I record it I love to listen to music but I don't want that it will get into the frame and the audio of the video so yeah I, I think it's great that uh, their life is like strawberry and they are sweet and yeah like like today I woke up at 5 a.m. something like this I went to sleep at 4 a.m. because I've done a lot of stuff um, and yeah like so I'm on one hour sleep I know it's not healthy and most of the time I try to avoid it but I don't know like I have a lot of times that I just hustle and I feel like when I work I just I don't know I feel powerful when I work like I know I feel sometimes that even one one hour sleep sometimes it's good it's good enough like instead of putting all the videos in a short period of time maybe you can post like once once a week or twice a week because you're going to reach point when you out of ideas so your consistency like my official business that I opened I opened uh, a year ago and yeah like I opened an online store um, I made uh, I, like I made a few sales I made a little bit of profit then I started to and then I tried another product I failed completely I sold just one unit and then I tried another one another one and then I started to improve more and more you bought the RTX that's amazing I just bought my new my new computer as well I told you on my YouTube channel I hope that you that you saw it I and you, I bought a computer that is special for graphic design and editing videos um, yeah, like I spend a lot about it. I spend on the my computer something like thirteen hundred dollars, but yeah, like uh, it's great. Um, yeah, so um, Danny, I just wanted to tell you that um, I post uh, almost uh, I post um, oh, every two days. I post to YouTube. I have loads of ideas. Like <laughs> I have I have a list of more than uh, of more than. Uh, then 200 uh, 200 uh, content ideas so don't you worry I, uh, I have enough uh, content ideas and every day I get new and new ideas and I add them to a list uh, but thank you for considering and thinking about me but uh, yeah like I have so much content on my ideas that's why I started uh, my YouTube channel and it took me a lot of time to start it as you all know um, I decided that before I have at least 30 ideas of uh, unique content that will really help to uh, to people and especially uh, those of you that ask me on the DMs and, and comment on my videos so when I had enough ideas and I felt like 30 is enough 
so I started to post and uh, yeah like I as you see I do very 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 uh, minimalistic uh, editing because I want to uh, to collaborate you with my uh, mindset and how I think about stuff when I when I design or when I think about other stuff but yeah like now I'm I'm going to install Premiere Pro in a few days and I believe that my editing skills will uh, will get approved much more so I don't think I'm going to show you my girlfriend um, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to uh, actually separate from uh, the social media and social media and business and all those stuff with my personal life I think it's the best also uh, mentally and also uh, in business because I think that I am the person that I want to display and not the others that's why I don't display my family at least uh, at the time uh, at the moment I don't think it's, uh, it's the smart idea to do um, it took me seven years before I got the courage to start mine really um, look like YouTube I totally understand I uh, like I I'm not saying that that uh, that everybody's shy because it's not true but when you start on uh, a YouTube channel usually you subscribe like most of the people who subscribe after you subscribe after people that have a lot of subscribers so they start in a different level and when you try to 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 do like them and to already on your first videos to try to to be even to them with the effects with the with the lighting with all of that you just feel frustrated so I think that um, the, the main idea in to start a YouTube channel is just to start about a, vi uh, a content that you're passionate about and they ha and you and there is uh, there is a community that actually passionate about this content too and it doesn't matter if it's um, if it's something that it's more for uh, for uh, for advertising it's for selling it's about finance uh, movies uh, your hobby um, it can be something that like for um, for entertaining like it really doesn't matter what you do the the most important thing in my opinion on eBay and uh, YouTube and as you all know I just started it is to be consistent um, to make sure that your SEO is is good like to make sure that you write good headlines that you use the right hashtags that you write the description um, with the right keywords um, to do a keywords re uh, research like you can do like social blade you can use it's a free chrome extension that you can install on your uh, on your computer on your chrome and it will give you the the hashtags and the keywords that your competitors are using it's absolutely free it's like vidIQ but it's uh, but uh, like with less features and uh, yeah like you can copy from your competitors or not call competitors um, inspiring uh, and channels that are inspiring or from your same the same niche that you're uh, advertising so you can use so I totally think that it's a uh, it's a smart idea to do yeah I posted three gigs on Fiverr and there is no orders okay so about Fiverr or any freelance websites actually um, and almost all free freelance websites you have two main ways that you can start making money and uh, that you can start uh, making orders and fulfill orders. The first way is that you actually can uh, that you that people actually come across your listing, and they actually will pay you, um, and they order from you uh, specifically. This is the first way. The second way is called job post, and it's separate in different uh, in different places. So, like in Fiverr, you don't have job post; you have job requests. So job request is like a customer, like I am a customer of Fiverr for a freelancer, like I order from Fiverr mainly for ads or for uh, specific uh, product research and stuff like I did it a few times. But and this is the main idea, you, you, you can or order from a specific listing or you can on your customer dashboard, you have the ability to click on something that's called job request. Job request is actually to send to Fiverr um, my my requirements and actually what I want that someone uh, what I want that uh, a seller will make in the job let's say that I want him to design for me a logo or to design posts so I like minimalistic design I don't want 3d or something like this I want minimalistic classic that will fit to a fitness brand that I have or something like that like I don't have a fitness brand I'm just saying for example so Fiverr when I send it to Fiverr he will send it a notification on on every customer that send it, uh, Fiverr will send a notification on the inbox 
to the inbox of every seller with a notification of the job request. And the first one, the jump in on the opportunity, actually start to, not the first, the like sellers that jump in on this opportunity and notice it's uh, notice it um, first or from the first ones that's why it's recommended to open your dashboard at least twice a day even if you don't have orders that Fiverr will know that you're still in it and to to apply to job requests and actually when you find the job request you actually communicate with the customers on the chat um, and that's that's mainly it. Like you communicate on the customer on the chat, you show him examples of the jobs that you did that you've done. Sometimes you give him a sample of of the job that you're plan that he asked from you. So let's say that you're doing a voiceover. So he wants he wants you to read him like a chapter. So you can read just a few sentences, and um, and to put like a background noise a little bit. So, uh, but but uh, but 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 uh, a low one that uh, it will be noticeable but it won't interrupt him to listen that way he won't use it um, he won't use it for his job for like if he wanted it he won't use it but he will be able to listen to you and to hear what is the quality of your job and you can do it in designs as well if he if the, if the examples that you already have is not enough so he wants an example that applies to his order specifically so if you don't see job requests um, on Fiverr, it sounds weird because Fiverr it's the it's the biggest uh, freelance uh, website on the world. So, <laughs> like as far as I've heard. So, if you don't see it, communicate with the support. It's probably uh, something like a problem with your uh, with your seller account or something like this. Maybe they've done an example. In the end of the day, it's uh, it's managed by human beings. So yeah, so I think that the best idea is just to communicate with the support and tell them, hey, how's it going? I have a few gigs. I haven't uh, received any job requests. Um, I've done everything that that uh, Fiverr told me when I opened a new account. And if you didn't, so head over to the to their guide. They have a absolutely free guide of how to create your listing, optimize it, um, look on other sellers and to optimize your listing, and actually explain you everything like. Give you tips on how to communicate with customers so when you will get a job request you will actually be able to offer yourself so yeah and actually be able to 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 apply to a job and actually get it you know because that the when you apply to a job it doesn't mean that you will get it okay like it's very important for you to understand um, but it's an opportunity it's like a faith so when you get a note, a notification for a job request is one faith, or you apply to a job post on Upwork or People Per Hour, like it really doesn't matter, or Guru. And yeah, and then you communicate with the with the customer. Sometimes you can even find his email, and that way you can communicate with directly for him. Like on LinkedIn, you can find a lot of uh, job requests, a lot of job posts, and yeah, like when you will write on on uh, on LinkedIn that you're. Uh, like I will show you if you want, I will show you my Gmail or something. And you literally get every single day um, dozens, okay? <laughs> dozens, if not hundreds um, of uh, job uh, opportunities or job requests that uh, they want you. And I don't post to LinkedIn at all. Like I think I posted just once. And yeah, like it's mainly it. Like you just need to write that you're a uh, professional or that you've done a course or something and you have some experience in that or that like uh, graphic design, copywriting, uh, proofreading, like it doesn't matter, like you will see that there is abundance for everyone so don't be scared that if I posted a video and it became viral it means that you won't have a place in the market because you always have um, and yeah like it's mainly it just optimize your listings um, and uh, if you don't and if you don't find that it's enough go to LinkedIn, go to companies that you can offer your service and reach out to them. And if, if it's not enough, go to, um, I forgot how it's called, the website. I'll link it in the description uh, if I, for like for YouTube, I'll link in the description and I will tell you in the next because I already done on TikTok a video about it and I'll search on it and then I'll tell you what is the website. Hunter.io, Hunter.io, so Hunter.io, it's actually a website you can get for free emails of every CEO and every manager of almost every company. So just go to there, offer your services, show them an example of what you can do or 
find a job, uh, find like something that they've done, let's say that you're a copywriter, so find a page or an ad that they're already made and do your due diligence to improve it and show what would you do. Like how would you improve the ad that they made and why? And maybe that way they will want to, uh, to you to, to work for them. Graphic design the same, proofreading the same. Like let's say that the, you've, seen a, you've seen a job that they've done, that someone did pro proofreading. Proofreading, for those of you that don't know, is, uh, to read, is to read books before publishing and to fix some mistakes or punctuation like grammar mistakes. Like you can do it for free with Grammarly. Um, if you want, you can get the paid plan, but I believe that it's more than enough. Uh, mainly in the beginning when you're doing freelancing on freelance websites and yeah like just do it or you can even like do drop, ser drop servicing and find someone that you know that he's doing it good and price yourself higher and you know like you're you're saving the um, the profit send some free examples for people so they could give you five star reviews also use Upwork wow that's a great idea I totally uh, I totally agree I think that it's a great idea to to if like you, you find yourself not succeeding yet on a, a one platform on freelance websites, go to a different one. Like there is Hireable, Hire Me, uh, Guru, uh, People Per Hour. Like there is so many um, so many job uh, opportunities and so much free, so many freelance websites. Like if you're a graphic designer, Design 99, it's it's a huge platform. Like it's more than enough. So you can just just start you know just start and if you find that someone is not, something not working find out why and take another action and another and another don't stop because you fail okay it if you if you fail temporarily it just means that you've done something wrong as that and that's okay because it's a lesson that you need to learn and next time you won't do it so you save time by understanding what is the problem don't avoid it because you don't want to uh, don't want to handle with the problems that you've done to yourself the opposite, if you want to improve yourself, you need to look on what you're doing good and what you're doing bad and what you need to improve and what, if you don't, if you don't want to improve it or it's, it's not necessary to improve it, so delegate it, like give it, delegate is, is giving it to someone else and to, and to give them to do the jobs. I want to know how you do your first sale. So look, um, like it really depends on what sale. Um, my first dollar that I made online for real is um is shopify so i think the first the first sale came on the first day um i'm not talking about the the um, the checking uh like that i checked that is working that i asked for my parents to make the purchase um i'm talking about the real customer from facebook like i did my a facebook campaign for the first time um i think that the best idea is not to invent the wheel don't try to invent something new in the beginning um, I think that you need to uh, to jump in on trends and to jump in on trends that you see that they are always always coming like year after year for example if you want to sell something on Christmas don't try to invent the wheel and try to sell something new if you're a total beginner and you have never written anything start by trying to sell something that you know it works you know like there are a lot of apps or a lot of companies that create less things for you you can uh, head over to Fiverr and to ask for someone to do it if you don't want to handle it you can literally go to Fiverr and uh, order a, a whole business a whole Shopify store with a listing with a winning product you can do it okay you can save some money and if you don't want to uh, be in the learning curve just uh, find someone with good uh, rating with good rank and start doing it if you want to focus more on the campaigns and stuff you can do it okay so I totally think that uh, you should like you should just take action and try and about the first sale I think that may be a great idea for you to know if uh, if you have something that can work is to show it to a family member or something and to see his reaction if he's saying that if he says that wow it's cute wow it's uh, it looks beautiful so you should know that your product probably won't work okay but if your if your uh, your family member doesn't tell you wow it's pretty it's cool it's just asking you where can I get it where is it from how how long did it take me to until I will have it in my hand something like this it means that you probably have something okay so if you want to get your uh, like I know that usually family members won't tell you that you that you're not good and that's okay 
but you can understand from that reaction what they really mean okay if they mean if they're saying it's beautiful or it's cool it's like when you're three and you you bring a drawing to your mom and she said that it's beautiful okay but if you if you if you show two friends or something like or friends or uh, and don't forget don't don't be afraid that people will steal your your uh, product because if it's a product that exists probably people are already, already selling it and you need to know that people are selling it in order to start um, to start doing it in the beginning when you're doing drop shipping when you want to invent your own brand or something like this is a different topic and we'll talk it in a different life but just uh, jump into on trends that you see that every year they're coming back look on winning products that you see that uh, that was winning products last year the year before the year before the year before it's probably mean that in this year it will be it will probably be the same okay